Today's story follows a high school boy, Hikari Tsusui, who is an otaku that finds comfort in 2D girls. One day, Hikari stumbles upon a social outcast in their school, Iroha Igarashi. He knows in his heart that Iroha is everything he hates, but when fate brings them together, will his beliefs on 3D girls change? Let's find out. Hi, I'm Jenny from Quick Anime Recap. And the story begins with Hikari dashing to his school, but alas, his efforts go in vain. His teacher assigns him and Iroha cleaning duties as punishment. For Hikari, this couldn't be the worst possible situation, as he hates Iroha, who has a reputation for being unlikable by the girls in his academy. When Iroha casually calls Hikari's hair gross, his bad impression of Iroha only gets stronger. While cleaning the swimming pool, the two end up falling in the water. Drenched to the bone, Iroha strips her shirt in front of Hikari, which sends the boy into panic mode. Iroha calls Hikari a virgin, to which he retorts back by saying that hanging around with men isn't exactly a virtuous thing to do. While hanging out with his best friend, Yudo Ito, Hikari asks if he's ever been in love. Yudo tells him that no girl has ever desired him as a partner, and he's more attracted to 2D girls instead. Two girls from Yudo's middle school pop by and berate him for being an otaku. Hikari angrily stands up in Yudo's defense, but is unable to give a comeback. He then hears Iroha's voice calling him, and when he opens his eyes, Hikari sees Iroha calling the girls ugly, which sends them on their way. In the absence of Iroha, Hikari wonders if he misjudged her. The next day, Hikari sees Iroha being dragged away by a boy who claims to be her boyfriend. When he sees the boy slapping Iroha, Hikari jumps to protect her, but gets beaten up. Iroha shows her gratitude by kissing Hikari. Which upsets him. And he tells her to go. In class, Iroha asks Hikari to go out with her in front of everyone. Hikari takes offense to his pride and immediately turns her down. After that, Hikari went to the general hospital to treat his wounds, and coincidentally, he sees Iroha sitting alone on a bench nearby. Seeing that she is feeling down, Hikari decides to follow her. At a bookstore, the store's manager mistakenly thought that Iroha was a thief who just ran past Hikari. And once again, Hikari jumps to save Iroha. After clearing up the misunderstanding, it started to rain outside, so Hikari decided to lend her his umbrella and run back home. And Hikari caught a cold from it the following day. At school, when she notices Hikari's sick state, Iroha pins Hikari and kisses him on the lips to cure his flu. As love chemicals fill his brain, Hikari faces Iroha and asks her to go out with him. However, Iroha then reveals to him that she'll be moving away after six months due to her father's job, which made Hikari question her motive. He wonders if he's just a distraction for her. While walking home together, Iroha asks Hikari what he's doing later. When he tells her that he'll be purchasing a new game, Iroha pouts and calls Hikari's plan boring. The next day, Hikari catches Iroha with a good-looking guy. As doubts start flooding his mind, Hikari is greeted by Iroha outside his window. When Hikari tries to express his doubts regarding their status as a couple, Iroha gets the wrong idea. She brings him to a motel and offers herself to show Hikari that she's serious about him. As someone who values his virginity, Hikari exits the room like a chad. At the hospital, Hikari catches the guy who was with Iroha. He introduces himself to the handsome doctor and asks him about his relationship with Iroha. As a man knows another man best, the doctor assures Hikari that he's not dating Iroha. Despite his response, Hikari begins rambling about how he'd make a better boyfriend than him. The doctor then tells him that he's weak, which Hikari speeds off while cursing the man. On the rooftop, Hikari asks Iroha to break up with the doctor. Iroha reveals that she has a serious illness, and the man he saw is a family doctor. The next day, after playing a video game, Hikari is maxed out on hero energy. He declares to Iroha that he doesn't care about her illness. Iroha flatly informs him that she was joking. The only illness she has is asthma. After learning from the hot doctor about Iroha's birthday, Hikari and Yudo prepare a clay figurine for her. 
Later, Iroha spends quality time with Hikari, watching anime and cuddling together. Hikari wakes up from a dream to see Iroha sleeping beside him. His gaze travels to Iroha's skirt. Hikari picks up his phone to snap a picture, but mentally curses himself for his actions. The next day at school, Yudo invites Hikari out like usual. When he turns Yudo down, he realizes how sad his friend looks. He decides to reschedule with Iroha to hang out with Yudo. During their hangout, Hikari apologizes for being happy, which puzzles Yudo. Hikari explains how being happy is scary for him. During pee, Hikari sees a girl from his class, Arisa Ishino, slip on a banana peel. While trying to help her, Arisa swats away his hand and calls Hikari gross. Alone in class, Hikari daydreams about Iroha and how his heartbeat gets fast upon her touch. When Iroha appears and touches Hikari's arm, he callously swats her hand away, which startles Iroha. Dejected by Hikari's behavior, Iroha leaves him alone. Arisa finds a sulking Hikari and asks him if he's planning on killing himself. Hikari vaguely asks Arisa for relationship advice. After helping Hikari out, Arisa gets the impression that Hikari is weird, while Hikari sees Arisa with a halo and angel wings. The next day, Iroha catches Arisa giving Hikari a haircut and gets jealous. She tells her to back off. Once Arisa leaves, Hikari assures Iroha that, unlike her, no one finds him attractive. He reveals that he was avoiding her because he was acting weird whenever he was around her. The two then make up as Hikari extends a hand out to Iroha. Hikari finds love perplexing, yet he tries to be a good boyfriend for Iroha by cooking for her. When Arisa breaks up with her douchebag boyfriend, the trio of outcasts welcomes her with open arms and sweets. Most people confide their feelings to their friends. As an otaku, Hikari shares his deep feelings with an anime character called Azamaki. At school, a handsome boy who has feeling for Iroha, Mitsuya Takanashi, looks at Hikari with disgust. He can't fathom why a girl like Iroha would date an otaku. Hikari receives a love letter from an unknown girl after school, inviting him to meet her. Arisa gushes over the letter, but Hikari discloses that he only has bad memories regarding such situations. His hunch is proven right when Mitsuya corners him and declares that he's in love with Iroha. After punching Hikari, he leaves him to ponder about his moves. Once again, Hikari finds himself filled with insecurities. At the park, Hikari runs into Mitsuya and asks him what he intends to do. Mitsuya boldly states that he'll steal Iroha from him. Hikari counters his threat by telling him that he'll disgrace him on social media. The wrath of an otaku shouldn't be taken lightly. To take revenge on Hikari, Mitsuya uses his sister to paint him as a lolicon. At school, vicious rumors float about Hikari being a lolicon. To protect Iroha's reputation, Hikari starts avoiding her. When his heart can no longer bear Iroha's absence, Hikari calls Iroha. She assures him that she knows Hikari is a good man, which uplifts his spirits. The next day at school, whenever the bullies try to crush Hikari's spirits, he recalls Iroha's words and laughs in the bullies' faces. Overwhelmed by guilt for ruining Hikari's reputation, Mitsuya's sister, Anzu, pleads with her brother to apologize, but that's the last thing Mitsuya wants to do. He flees the scene at the thought of bending down to an otaku. Iroha, who happens to be nearby, assures Anzu that she'll come up with a plan. At school, the bullying progresses. Mitsuya finds himself in a moral quandary when he sees Hikari being unresponsive to the allegations. He asks him to stand up for himself, but when his friends catch him talking to Hikari, Mitsuya aggressively denies being affiliated with him. Hikari, on the other hand, curtly tells Mitsuya's friends not to associate him with Anormi. Alone, Mitsuya confronts Hikari again. But Hikari tells him that he's unbothered because he's happy. After all, Hikari, unlike Mitsuya, has a cute girlfriend. Mitsuya finally decides to clear up the misunderstanding by informing Hikari's family what truly went down. As things return to normalcy, Hikari bumps into a girl named Sumi Ayado and ends up losing his magazine. While frantically searching for it, Sumi appears and gives him the magazine he was looking for. She shyly tells him that she also has a subscription to the anime magazine, and as she rambles, Iroha appears on the scene. Seeing Iroha, the girl takes off. Later, Iroha and Hikari go to a firework festival. 
Hikari realizes that this is the first time he's having fun. When he sees Mitsuya, Hikari asks Iroha why she didn't go for a hot guy. Feeling misjudged, Iroha leaves Hikari behind. At school, Hikari cheers for Sumi, whom he bumped into. And the two bond over anime and its shortcomings. Iroha refuses to listen to Hikari, despite his constant efforts. On his way, Hikari greets Sumi, who gushes about her hobby of gardening. During the lunch break, Hikari catches Yudo conversing with a cat. He is startled by this and profusely apologizes for making Yudo feel so lonely that he found solace in a cat's company. Yudo angrily calls Hikari out on his arrogance. In his home, Hikari finds himself lonelier than ever. He wonders to himself that he's always been alone, so what changed? Hikari reminisces about his first encounter with Yudo and how he stood up for him in front of his childhood bullies. At that moment, he realizes he can't lose his best friend. The next day, Hikari apologizes for his behavior and gets an apology back from Yudo too. At night, Hikari decides to visit Iroha but chickens out, which Iroha then drags him inside her room. The virgin marvels about his first time being in a girl's room. <laughs> Iroha confesses that she was angry at him for not trusting her. The two make up quickly and savor the moment by embracing each other. When blood rushes to his nether regions, Hikari makes the bold move of pinning Iroha down. Instead of finishing what he initiated, Hikari runs away after regaining his senses. The next day, Iroha sighs as she finds Hikari being his usual weird self. This conclude the part one of the story. It seems like Hikari is slowly getting used to having more friends and not being alone. Although Iroha will be moving away after six months, her relationship with Hikari is going well. Stay tuned for part two to see what happened next.